They put googly eyes on that man's face. That's extra creepy. I kind of like it though. <laughs> We're visiting my in-laws in Anderson and we're going into Trader Butts Flea Market to see what we can find. This little chalk wear spaniel dog. It's got some issues on the side there. For five dollars. Some of these are good. I mean, I have a ton of them still that I need a list, but I might get them cheap enough that I. Yeah. But some of them I like. I like just because I like them. Yeah, that is neat. This is neat too. This Tonka truck. Here's a little Shawnee elephant for $9.95. He's got a chip in his trunk. $9.95 might not be that bad of a price. I like this piece of furniture too. It's probably save $295. It's neat how this booth is set up though. This is neat. Oh my. They put googly eyes on that man's face. That's extra creepy. I kind of like it though. have them. Really? For 10? Well, I'll think about them. Oh, look at her. Nothing's on sale here, is there? Vintage Hostess Display, $60. I like that. I like that little girl, too. What do they say on them? Warm, Warm morning, morning heaters. heaters. <laughs> like, took us a while to figure out what that said. I like this bunny, though, Mark, for $3. Get her. I'm gonna get this bunny. Not to resell. They've got some neat stuff in here, really. Kind of having a hard time taking it all in, trying to get it all on. I know. I like that display thing, too. There's some Pyrex back there. It is kind of hard to get to some stuff, though. But There's a kitty cat one. Those are $12. I have those, though. Man. The holder. This is a this is Amanda's junk. Amanda's got good junk in her booth. That oh, that has the holder with it too. These lamps are nice. These chalkware boudoir lamps. Twenty two. Hmm. Amanda's got good junk. That's oh, a cute little chair. Look at that little chair. That's adorable for eight dollars. What? I love Hooters. These little marks. Toys. Um. Nah, so now it's. They look complete. Though. Oh, I've had him. Oh my gosh, look at the googly eyes. <laughs> look at, did you see? There's some more over here. Oh my word. I like these deer. What? Did you find more? Yeah. Um, oh, oh, these are each, but oh, I think I've had those before. Let me see what, what, how much is on them. Five ninety nine. That's about, that's about right. Oh, look, this is a little candle hugger. She's six ninety nine. She's supposed to have a friend. She's supposed to have a little friend with her. I like this too. I know, it's just, it's just kind of funny. Okay, so these, if they were $4.29 for the set, I would buy them. But they're $4.29 each. So, I'm going to say no. This one, he's supposed to have a little Mrs. Humpty Dumpty. And he doesn't. <laughs> Went to pee. <laughs> Leave this drink alone. <laughs> What's on the other side? Same thing. 
Went to pee. Leave this drink alone. Uh oh, I'm finding. I see a turkey. I see a turkey for two ninety nine. I think I'm going to get him. Turkey, turkey, turkey. I need a shopping cart. I need to find me a little vessel. Oh. Keep my bunny and my turkey in with next to you keep an eye on keep an eye on my stuff mister i like this booth i haven't made it very far there's all kinds of little tchotchkes in here there's a little debbie oh a little debbie and a rock and roll buggy yeah what are you Get in shape, Ken. What? That is bizarre. Look at him. Look at him, Mark. He's he's working out. Oops. I zoomed in. Oh, here's some Halloween. A little Halloween kitty for $4.99. Cabbage Patch Paper Dolls. Creamy paper doll. I may have to do a little bit of um, looking up for some things. I film my videos with my phone, so I can't look things up while I'm filming. So I have to. Now I collect these. Um, I am starting to clean out. I've cleared out a lot of them, but you don't see them very often. So I'm kind of liking that I'm seeing them here. And these little, these deer, three ninety nine. I'm having sensory overload a little bit because I see all kinds of things that I like. I just sold that. Just sold that in the Five Things Friday video. I want $3.99 for it. This is a treasure trove, honestly. Oh, cute. $2.99. That's probably not that bad of a price. We'll go over there and look. This is, I like this booth. They've got all kinds of little who's it's and what's it's. There's Gary's Peanuts. What is that back there? It's a memo holder for $3.95. Oh, I like her. You can put your little memo pad up there. Oh, I like her. I keep, why am I keep finding, oh, there's a cruel piece for $12.99. I like that too. And this is a, this is in pretty rough shape. I have a black one of these too. But I like the pink, but that one is pretty um rusty. A brass. Oh look at the little vintage waste basket. Man. Oh, and there's a strawberry shortcake house. Okay. Oh, there's another creepy man. Alright, I'm gonna kind of walk through a little bit and but I may have to um, I may have to research a little bit more there's midnight who else had midnight I had this horse okay let me grab my treasures thank you sir for keeping an eye on my treasures my treasures and my shopping cart. Very light. How much is it? I have that one. This is a good booth. I keep, I'm going to have to come back and like. Okay, let's move on though. Uh, there's a leather tool purse. Of uh, Hooters. Oh, wait. Uh, oh. And I'm not seeing anything over there that's jumping out at me. Oh, there's a bear in here. Is this Williamsburg pottery? Pottery pieces can be worth money if you can figure out who has signed it. Because they're I've sold a lot of pottery pieces for really pretty good money. If you can, like I said, if you can figure out who the artist is, um, sometimes that's the that's the hard part. I have the juice cups that go with this, but I also have this picture. How much do they have on it? 
Bridesmaids. It's a Napco pitcher from 1960s. $14. I have the, mine has the cups that go with it. Oh, the cups that go with it. There's strawberry shortcake. these do you see these mark I have these guys so I'm not gonna get them but that's a it's a good, decent price on them I mean, grand beverages I like the bottles with the red and white graphics but I'm not paying $6.95 for it I like these <clears throat> these are the ones that I like dollar 25 since 1981 I like these ones from the 80s I'm not gonna get it, but I'm just saying that I, I do like those. But there's the cat. Okay, I'm gonna get these because they're matches that, that just seal the deal. What's that? Just a Raleigh's. Raleigh's medicine bottle. Did you see the? Yeah, best ever. This one's. Little Dutch. How much are they? Dollar twenty-five. I say that we... one's Anderson. I didn't know if you wanted it. Yeah, I want to. I want that one. Baby. Okay, so this is a Kobol and it is made in West Germany. So it is an older one. They want $13.99 for it, which isn't a bad price, but the market on these is just not what they used to be. This one's in really good condition, but if you're wanting them to resell, then always at least make sure that they do say West Germany. He doesn't have his box, but he still is a neat older one. That's neat. This is in pretty bad shape, but it's a postal stamp holder for $4.99, which will look really cute with a 4th of July display. But I'm not going to get it today. I'm trying to... I say I'm trying to not buy... So oh, I see something. Buy a lot, but I got a cart full. Oh, Mark, look! He doesn't move. <laughs> I sold a ton of these. Um, he, the ones I had were new in the package, but 69 cents. Is it in there? It's in there. So I'm getting that. Look at the baby Jesus on there. Yeah, see, I'm trying to rein it in. So you can see all my stuff in my cart. Look at all those paperweights. Yeah. Let's see, I wonder if there's any St. Clair paperweights. These are St. Clair. These are Joe St. Clair. He is a local um, paperweight maker back in the day. And these are $21.99, which isn't a bad price for a collector, but they're just not. They used to be huge. They used to be, this was like the thing to have. And there still is collectors out there, but it's not something that I'm personally buying right now. He did a lot of these ones with the little animals, where you can see it with the animals on the inside. And they are all embossed, Joe St. Clair. And this one has a buffalo in it, and this one is signed. My dad knows all about the St. Clair. But there's a little cupy. It's also marked St. Clair. So this was someone's whole big St. Clair collection. And go in here. The first thing I saw was this set here for $4. There's this chicken pitcher and then it has the spice. Now there are, there's a whole set of these early American or early provincial spice containers. This one's $4, which isn't a bad price, but again, I don't know. I said and say I'm trying to be picky, but yet I don't always buy things that I should be I should be more picky about, but there's a Gilbert's microscope. Disco fever. What? That's amazing. There's Holly Hubby. I actually have this one and I have that one. This would have been a group, should have been in a big grouping. It's from the shit the world's largest shell factory. But it's this Lucite with this abalone shell, and they would have had bigger pieces that went with it. And this is just the one that's left. So we're checking out now. This is an amazing place. I wish I had more time to be here and look, but they won't let me look as long as I want to. So if you're in Anderson, come to Trader Bucks and 
take a look around because they've got some really good treasures here.